The topic of this video is finding the domain of a rational function. Let's look at a problem. f of x equals the rational function whose numerator is the binomial 4x squared plus 1 times the trinomial x squared minus x minus 42, and whose denominator is 9 times the binomial x squared minus 49 times the binomial x squared plus 8. Okay, so there are four steps for finding the domain. All real numbers, even radicands greater than or equal to zero, log arguments greater than zero, denominators not equal to zero. But for a rational function, we will not have any radicals or logs, so we only perform steps one and four. Step one, start with all real numbers. Step two, denominators not equal to zero. Our denominator in this problem is as follows. Nine, parenthesis, x squared minus 49, close parenthesis, open parenthesis, x squared plus eight, close parenthesis. So therefore, that is not allowed to be zero. Okay, so by the zero product property, we can set each one of these factors to be not equal to zero. So we get nine is not equal to zero, x squared minus 49 is not equal to zero, and x squared plus eight is not equal to zero. Now remember that the goal here is to find facts about x. Find restrictions find the values of x that we are not allowed to use. So as we look at this first statement, nine is not equal to zero, that's true, nine is not equal to zero, but it doesn't tell us anything about x. So this will not contribute to our solution. In our second equation here, we can add 49 to both sides. So we get x squared is equal to 49. And in our third equation, we can subtract eight on both sides and we can get x squared is equal to negative eight. Now I'd like to compare these two equations because although they look very similar, the results are going to be very, very different. Remember that when we are finding domain, we're looking for all of the real numbers. That's what we're starting with. And so when you square a real number, what happens? Real numbers come in three flavors, positive, negative, and zero. So X in either of these equations could be positive, negative, or zero. What happens when you square a positive? You get a positive. What happens when you square a negative? You get a positive. And what happens when you square zero? You get zero. But what you don't get is a negative. So for that reason, x squared equals negative eight has no real solution. Which means this equation is not going to tell us anything about x. It's not going to affect our domain in any way. But this will. By the square root property, x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 49, excuse me, not equal, not equal, not equal. I made an error there, I apologize. And then here, x is not equal to plus or minus seven. So what that tells me is that for this problem, x cannot be seven, and in addition, x cannot be negative seven. This allows us to write our final answer for the domain. The domain is the set of all x such that x is real, and x is not equal to seven, and x is not equal to negative seven. Notice that we completely ignored the numerator for this problem. The reason why is because a numerator can be zero without breaking math, a denominator cannot, and our job is to figure out what are the values of x that we are allowed to use that don't break math, so we focus only on the denominator. 